Tonight, a Half Moon Bay City leader and a San Mateo County supervisor are criticizing the living conditions of farm workers. This is happening as the community tries to do more for the families of this week's victims. KTVU's Tom Vakar spent the day in Half Moon Bay. He's live with the latest. Tom. It certainly has begun a process because when you live in a pressure cooker, the pressure mounts. And in this case, the pressure became deadly. These pictures, sent out by San Mateo County Supervisor Ray Mueller, shows the reality of how farm workers have to live, sardined into very small spaces, or one-room apartments, or in some cases, in old stationary motorhomes. Now these farm workers, they have, they've been there for, no, for several years, living in the same area, same trailer. So how much space do you have to, have to keep your belongings, your clothes, your food? You know, in the best for, for everybody, you know, we're talking about five to six people. This is not big enough. The Asian victims and their families have been near invisible. There have been all kinds of challenges um, with regard to interpretation, um, and there are no Asian serving organizations that serve this population and really understands their needs. Without more direct support now being arranged by Chinese for Affirmative Action, the organization has posted a GoFundMe page under Half Moon Bay Victims and on Stop AAPI Hate on social media's Facebook and Twitter. Everyone sees both Half Moon Bay and Monterey Park in their minds. They're obviously troubled and they get their hands on guns and they just do crazy things. But these are tough times for everybody. Everybody's troubled and with the guns, it just makes it horrible. And then these poor people lose their lives, their incomes, their families. Well, both the city and the county are looking for actual spaces, real land, where they can build the kind of housing that is befitting the farm workers' needs and befitting the farm workers' work that they actually do. And if they get, are able to get that done, that's going to require some state and federal funding. But given what has happened, it may be a good start and a fitting legacy for those who lost their lives. Live in Half Moon Bay, Tom Baker, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Tom, thank you. In